Hello there, my name is Sam Smith. I'm a portrait artist and an artist in general. You can see some of my work behind me and on my website, which is all in the links. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw the shape of the face, which is the sort of structure, it's the most important part. It's the fundamental building block from which you build your portrait or your image. So I'm gonna help you get that down and get confidence with it. And as you watch, I don't want you to do it passively. It's, it's a slow way to learn. The fast way, the fast track to learning is by picking up a pen or pencil, whatever, whatever mark making gizmo you have, um, and actually drawing as you do it, as you watch. Just you, know, you don't have to pay too much attention. It's just gonna, it's just helping you on your way. It's getting active and starting on your portrait drawing journey, which hopefully I'll be able to help you along with. Um, you can subscribe to this, obviously, which will mean you get all my portrait, my my lessons, my blogs, or you can do it by email. Again, the link is in the description. I hope you enjoy this. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the shape of a face. I think we need to have a concrete aim before we get started. Otherwise, you'll be mucking around for ages with this video. And it's to get you, so they're going to say me, that's you, um, comfortable drawing face shape. Okay, so just so when you're dealing with a canvas, I'll explain this you've got this whole expanse of blank space, right? And you need to know what part of that space you're gonna occupy with your drawing. Because if you don't know that much, then how are you gonna start building from there? You'll draw all of the features in different sizes and it won't make sense. You need to first just get, just map out the space you're gonna be using for your drawing. And the face shape, whether you do it accurately the first time or not, the face shape will give a rough idea of where that's gonna be. Okay, so we want you to be at this, by the end of the video, we want you to be at this sort of stage in just mapping out the shape of the face, as opposed to maybe you go for the, you start at this and you draw a big chin. We don't, that's what we want to be moving away from. <laughs> we want you to get everything in, in vague proportion so you don't get too many surprises when you end up the drawing and you realize you've got a chin like this. So that's our aim. Okay, so keeping this in mind, First of all, you do have this canvas, and the first most important thing is to map out the approximate space. And the approximate space, funnily enough, is the same shape as a portrait canvas. So if that is the canvas, your page, whatever you want to choose your canvas as, or whatever, postcard or a receipt, anything, the approximate space you're going to fill up is going to be a rectangle, like this. And then within that, you're going to add the features. So how do you find, once you've got this rectangle space, you have that in your head, you can even, if that's the card or whatever you're using, the canvas, you can even just map out those lines like that. You know, don't, don't go in for the full rectangle because that will end up being what stands out in your drawing and it'll look like a little Lego man. So maybe start with that if you need to. For the rest of you, if, you, if you're comfortable with that already, I would say go with the circle. And as a little um, reminder, I'll add this in here. I don't want you to be too uh, too restricted by how good you want this to be. You need to be loose. You need to not be worrying. You need to be confident. You need to be blasé. <laughs> that means not worried about stuff. Um, just go for it. You know, look at how I'm using a pen. I can do this. I can do this. Doesn't matter. I can ruin my pictures. It, this doesn't matter. None of this matters, okay? It's just you getting comfortable. This is one step of many, you know, in the ascent to being able to draw well confidently, whatever you're aiming for. Um, so like I say, just go for it. Don't, don't be too worried, because the, the things you learn here are just a step, and you're going you're gonna to rechange them later on down the road in your drawing career. You're going to add to them. This is just a fundamental. Okay, so we've got the circle, and I'll go through this relatively quickly, because I want you to be doing it, I want you to be going for it, and that's how you'll learn. There's no way I can complete everything in this video and show you everything. You need to be able to do it yourself and have the confidence to go for it and the confidence to mess up. So I'm just going to go through the very mechanical, structural stages of it. So you've got your circle, in the middle of the circle is the centre, obviously, and you've got this distance here, which is the radius of the circle. And so just take that distance and add it onto the bottom below the circle. So roughly a centimetre for me, add it down there. So now you've got a circle and a little dot. And then 
just to get you seeing the structure, add a little triangle from the middle point of the circle, so that's the center line of the circle, get those points and then draw them down to the bottom of that triangle. So I'll do that very quickly. So boom, 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 middle line, dum dum. So now you've got an ice cream cone. All right, so that's not really a face. It look, <laughs> look how unhappy he is, because he's got a big pointy chin. He needs to have a stronger jawline. We're assuming it's a he. So what we do, we draw these lines here. So imagine an angle like this. This will be different for different faces, but this is the rough idea. So you, you want it to be an exaggerated way, whoosh, going out like that. So opening up. And these will be the actual side of the faces. So where you've got your cheeks, that's where this will be. And then you need, obviously you need it to go in for the jaw because you've got cheekbones up here, cheek, and then it goes down, boom, into the jaw. So then about, again, about halfway down this line from the center of the circle to the bottom of the chin, you're going to have an apex where it goes in like this. So you have that on both sides. Oh my God, it doesn't look like a head. Follow me, go with me. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. So bum bum bum. Again, make it wonky, doesn't matter. You've got these lines, middle way down there. Bum bum, bum bum. So now you've got a rough face shape. Woohoo! All right, but he's got pointy chin. Easy, cut it off. Wherever you wanna cut it off, big chin, wide chin, round chin. That's roughly where it is, that's, remember, it's just a rough face shape. And then, so you've got this. And so then when you start drawing it on your own, you can start to think about it. Okay, you've got, these are the important lines. One, two. This is an important line. It's a semicircle. These are important lines. They're more angled, they're more flat. They're more flat than the cheek line. But we know the cheek line is like this. It's not, it's not vertical. If it was vertical, we'd look like robots. Some of us do have them vertical. They're very manly among us. But mostly they're angled like this, this and this. This line's important. Those are the important lines. There you go, there's a face shape. And you can experiment that. Sorry, that, that was a bit of a jump actually, I shouldn't have done that. You need to, that's what I want you to get you comfortable with. This, these structural lines, the circle and the triangle, are to get you to see the space and how to use it and manipulate it. Ultimately, you don't necessarily want these structural lines. They're not the end of the world. You can always add on top of this, watch this. That's okay, isn't it? We can still see the face. We, we ignore the lines, our brain's very good at that. But I think for the real, the real goal, ultimately, will be to be able to draw this, do 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 do, and without doing all the structural stuff. So you can just doodle. It's basically a platform for you to doodle. I'm trying to get you to get comfortable with mapping out the space you want to use as a starting point for your, your doodling. And look, you can experiment, even if you're using a pen, you can experiment with the, with the lines, you can make them, I want that more angular, I want to have a rounder chin. This is just a starting point. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. Seven minutes long, it felt like two minutes. But yeah, I want you to start drawing, I want you to get confident with it, because drawing has given me so much. And I don't really know what it's given me, but I know I like it and I move more and more close towards it every day that goes by. And the more I draw every day, the happier I become. And maybe that's just for me, but maybe it's the same for you. And maybe it will lead you to something that, you know, you prefer more, maybe painting or charcoals, or maybe, I don't know, making apps or something. I just don't think the search for sort of personal discovery can ever really go wrong. So thank you for listening and I'll see you. No, I won't. You will see my drawing soon. Thank <laughs> you.